so now I'm trying to get the Cell games to be three-star difficulty. Okay, here we go. This is three-star difficulty for the Cell games. Do you really plan to participate in the Cell game? Uh, yeah. Special thanks to Kyle Comte for being a Cheetah Pipe Club member. Thank you for your support. I enjoyed helping you get it's Mario Eclipse installed. I'm sorry if I butchered your name. First round is beginning. So we're fighting Beerus. Oh no. Oh golly, I should have started out as red. I knew it. Didn't hit him. I'm probably not going to talk about stuff a whole lot throughout this because I am really focusing on trying to beat these hard computers. This is tough. I thought that was about to be a clash. And this is the Cell game, so my health isn't going to heal between matches nearly as much as it would. Let's try this. That move is what I'm going to be relying on a lot during this tournament. I'm gonna lose this clash, watch. Okay, I'll, I'll accept that. Okay, next round. Red Q versus Gorgita. Hit him with this. Let's do it again. I'm just gonna spam this move. That's literally all I'm doing. I've got to make these three star computers, I gotta put them in their place. Transform. Should have just started out as red. I thought about it for some reason, I didn't want to. Oh no! He's stunned. Ha! Okay, I got him once. Hit him with a Kamehameha. He'll never dodge me. That move has really awesome reach. My next two opponents are going to be very powerful though. He is breaking me. Oh, you suck. I'm having a hard time if you haven't noticed. I just need to stay focused. Moments like that, I'm able to catch my breath. Here it comes. Let's just go in and see if he either dodges or whatever. Got him. I know where I went wrong. I started playing around and I didn't transform immediately. Now I know better. What? What? Thanks, folks. I need to customize more characters so I'm not just playing Goku the whole time. I played Goku Come on. almost the entire time. Of course, mind, Goku will. End is my main in this game, but still, people don't want to just watch Goku. Okay, let's go. okay transform again. Now I have no key bars, but that will only be for a second. Char uh, charge. He's stunned. This is perfect. Oh no, it's not perfect anymore. Stop dodging. I blame the controller 
It has nothing to do with my bad skills. Oh, he's stunned. This is perfect. And I don't have any more blast gauges. So kill him if I can hit him. Hit him! I did not kill him. I was wrong. But he's almost dead. In fact, I have a confidence. I had confidence that I would get him. So my strategy with Red Goku was very good. It worked. I might have to use that strategy for every single tournament on the 3-star difficulty. Congratulations. <laughs> Obtained Z-Points, 24,000. Character unlocked, King Cold. Goku told me about these. You can't yes! 3-star. Okay, I'm going to take a risk here just to change it up. All right, Finally, the best taking a risk, and I'm playing as Tao, because I have him customized with the Red Patara, and I don't want to just be Goku the whole time. That's not fun to watch. And now. So, the reason I even customized Tao in the first place is to try to give me more options uh, whenever I do the big tournament and it chooses the character for me. If it happens to choose Tau, maybe it'll be another customized. It'll give me a better chance, you know. So, let's do this. Let's get beat up. Golly, man, I'm so out of class. This was a bad move. I just had to be against Jiren. Okay, it's not over. There's no ring out in this. So this was a this was one that I could take a risk with. Hey. Uh, I can't get him. Ultimate final plan. It didn't land? What happened? How did that not hit him? That clearly went right to him. And then he used his attack. I mean, what happened right there? I am barely hanging on. I mean, barely. If I win this, it's going to be because it's like a fluke or something. I might lose the next fight. Let's just keep Dodon on Ray. Oh, he's almost dead. I got him. Come on. Come on. Come on. What happened? Did he block it? I didn't mean to do that. Dodon on Ray. Yes. I mean, I barely beat him. I know I had a lot of health left, but I don't really count that as winning. All they got to do is start their crazy combos and put me in hit stun, and, and then it'll be basically over. These three star computers, they don't play. Now, fighting against Super Saiyan 3 Goku GT. That dude has got wicked fast punches. Their first fight would have went a little differently if he uh, fought Goku like that at first, as a kid. Oh, that's, that move sucks so much. Oh no, he was grabbing. Am I going to go right into the grab? Okay. Please forgive me. I hope this does a lot of damage. It did. Okay, yeah, it did. It did a pretty good amount of damage. All right. And it battle damaged him. Let's go. Ah, curse you. Let's try this. They're just too powerful. They actually know how to play the game now. Come on, come on, come on, while he's open. Okay, get a wild sense, max power. Try to move in on him. Cool, I got him. That went a little better than the fight with Jiren. These three star fights are way harder. They're a little more challenging than I honestly expected, I, you know. What a Next up, I'm going to struggle against Naruto. 
and still got him because he's huge. Blocked it. Do another one. He's so slow, I can get him while he's open. Whoa. That was cool. In max power mode with the Rev Tara, you, uh, and you're holding guard, you dodge really easily. It's almost done. You've almost pierced him enough. Okay, managed to get through another fight. I will not be playing as Tower. Again. This really sucks. This is going a lot worse than I thought. Like the character tiers, as with the red Patara, that matters a lot. That matters a lot. Take this. Crap. 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 Dodged him again. I knew he would. I don't want to lose to you. No. He's just so much stupidly stronger than me that I, it's so hard, man. The Tenkaichi games are so good with the power scale stuff. Oh, gosh. It's so hard for me to get a hit on him. I knew Topo would be difficult. No. I'm not trash, sucker. Uh, uh, I should have used my ultimate. I choked. This is so hard. This is so hard. This is harder than any fight in the story mode. What happened? That move sucks so much. Why didn't he do it? Okay. I have to literally stop and focus whenever it's a clash. That's the only way for me to mash fast enough. Oh gosh, dog it. Man, I was pushing the freaking thing and he got me. No, he didn't. I'm pushing buttons like crazy and he's doing nothing. Come on, get him. <sighs> Sucks so much. Went right over his head, like a bad joke. Come on, I'm almost there. I'm like, right there, man. Almost to the end of the tournament. Forgot he has a sword for a couple of combos. Let's get him. Add on to the combo. Finish him. Come on. No. I need to be at max power is what I need to be. This is the only way I'll be able to finish him. That was a hard fight. The only reason I'm winning any of these fights is because I have so much health. It is definitely not because I'm good at the game. Skill issue. Someone who is a lot better at this game than me, this probably wouldn't be nearly as difficult. Really held down by the character of Tao. His, his moves are a lot worse than I actually thought they would be. Let's just go into it and see what happens. I gotta focus, so I'm not gonna talk a lot. Please land. Cool, it landed. That'll give me a good, like, a good head start on it. Oh, he used up a lot of his health to do that. Yes! That fight went way better than any of them. Through already. Okay, I beat the other world tournament with Tao. Very nice. That was hard, man. 
it was annoying at how hard some of the fights were. Congratulations! Obtain Z points, 14,000. Character unlock, Pycon. There he is. Character unlock, Janimba. I already had Janimba. That's weird. I already had Janimba. I wonder who it unlocked. Now I'm going to customize Vegeta because I don't want to play Goku the entire time. From this point on, it's post-commentary. I played the rest of these tournaments on a different day. I stopped after I played Tau because I had other things to do. And I didn't record my mic audio, so I chose to voice over it later. And now is later. Gonna be the Boo Saga outfit. Alright then, this is the start of the first round. Are you ready? Begin! This fight was difficult, I think. I really don't remember how a lot of these fights go. It's been a good while. I recorded this video a long time ago at this point, and I just had so many other things. Spark and Zero has come out, and I've been playing that, trying to get a couple of videos out. So far, not really any successful videos, because my channel is better known for this game than Sparking Zero. And that's cool, I like this game. That's why I'm not going to stop making videos about it. I'm trying to get these tournament videos done, and then get the next Dragon Summoning video done, and then I can start doing other fun stuff that people may enjoy. There's another mod that I plan to show in the future that a different YouTuber has made, and I'm going to show it off too. That mod has manga content. Ooh, like Ultra Ego Vegeta. Basically just had to stay in the center of the stage and blast him away. Because he was not backing down. This will be an unexpected okay. Are you ready? Nova Shinron has always been a fun character. I wish he got into Spartan Zero. I feel fairly certain that all the characters that did not make it are gonna come in DLC. I'm, I'm very hopeful about it at least. We'll see. There's 20 characters coming in the season pass, but most of them I feel like are Daima characters. It's two Daima packs. That's why the game released when it did. They're trying to that's part of their marketing tactic. They're trying to be like, hey, we've got Daima content. Pushed him right on out of bounds. I'll show you who's Vegeta's one. very good with his energy moves. You can go Super Saiyan 2 right at the start of the battle and just push with your energy attacks because he charges so fast. Let's see here at this battle. Buhan is not a pushover. This is in for you. Red hair. Super Saiyan red. That's what I call it. The other one's called Super Saiyan blue, so I don't see why not. Another thing about Spark and Zero, I know this isn't Spark and Zero and I keep talking about it, but what's cool is the World Tournament stage, you have a World Tournament version that has no crowd and you can fly all around and outside of the ring. It's such a good stage. That's my favorite stage in Spark and Zero because it kind of lacks on stages, but the ones that it does have are awesome and they're cool.
now to go all out against the old man. He's powering up too. Oh no. Masaroshi is not letting off easily. However, I can overpower him. I have blue hair. He doesn't have hair at all. How do you think you can face me when you're bald? Take this. I changed again. Thought I couldn't. Oh no, I almost went out of bounds. That moment right there was crazy. I really thought I dashed out of bounds. Try not to move anymore, old man. You'll die. You'll die. I faked him out. I made him think I was going to go out of bounds. Yeah, it was a joke. Yeah. Congratulations. Obtain Z points. Character unlocked. Videl. There's Videl. Now we're going to customize Piccolo. The next tournament is the dreaded other uh the dreaded big tournament big world martial arts tournament there's a password if you want them i've been showing i didn't say anything about the vegeta one but i share the passwords in case anyone cares this tournament sucks because you can't choose your character look when i say when i say that i freaking went in and out of this menu probably a hundred times to try to get characters and I got so close on some of the characters I got Vegeta a few times but he wasn't customized it was not choosing the customized slot and then it chose Piccolo and he wasn't chosen the customized slot I customized all three slots after that happened I was like done and then it finally chose Super Saiyan Red Goku and I went with it Super Saiyan Red Goku is very good character in this. I really don't like playing Red Goku in Spark and Zero. I don't know. I, I ain't practiced with him enough. He don't play like he does in this. They made his moves awesome. That that ultimate attack is incredible in this game. I'll exploit it so much. Now the plan here was to exploit it against Super 17, but it doesn't exactly go as planned. Try this. Here's where it goes wrong. He clashes with me. And I'm ready for a fight. Okay, let's do this. I'm all for a challenge. But he's holding up that fist and stops me. Things go south from here. Ah, so many bullets. It hurts so bad. Why'd you hit me? How dare you guard against my attack? Ow, ow, ow. At this point, I was thinking, what the actual crap? Don't you know that you're not supposed to fight back? You're supposed to just let me win? Try this. Does it hit? Find out right now. Oh, I'm not doing enough barrel rolls. Hold A to charge your laser. And he absorbed it and shot it right back. And then I, right now I remember my fight in GT. He's open. In the GT storyline, whenever I was playing Super Saiyan 4 Goku, I realized that he's open after he does the missile attacks. And in that moment a second ago, I remembered that. And it was time to exploit it. Now to get the upper hand on him. Nope. He punched me and I punched back. So I got a new kit. I don't need another kid. I have five cats already. Now this one makes six. Finally got defeated. I landed the attack. Omega Shinra. I have reason to believe in my own head that Red Goku could, in fact, either be on toe-to-toe -to -toe with Omega Shinron or defeat him. I feel like Red Goku is about as strong as Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. I know that that might sound ridiculous to some people, but uh, I got some power scaling videos that I plan to do, and I'll explain what I'm thinking whenever I get around to that. I have a video that I'm working on that's good. That's uh called Raditz versus Garlic Jr. It's the Garlic Jr. from the movie Dead Zone, not the Garlic Jr. saga against Raditz whenever he shows up on Earth. Welcome back.
Now we have to fight the champion. All right. All right. <laughs> okay, you can practice on me. I don't know if I'm gonna win. He is the ultimate champion. I didn't expect him to go behind me again. Take this. And we got away. Ha! One hit. Basically, if you can get him with that first one, you can just about always land that second hit. That move is great to exploit. I'm cheesing my way to victory. The Tenkaichi games have never been balanced or fair. Sometimes it's fun, sometimes it's aggravating. Congratulations. Obtain Z points. Character unlocked Bojack, full power. Cool. I had actually forgot he was a locked character. In the world, there are tournaments open now. Now we're doing the Tournament of Power. Three star difficulty. Piccolo. I wanted the one that had a uh, Frieza, Frieza type. I feel like it charges faster. At last, it is time. Let the Tournament of Power begin! Let's do this. Now, if all competitors from each universe could assume their starting positions. I have to fight the opponent that I was just fighting in the same ring. I'll do what I can here. <laughs> I know what you mean, but let's fight it out like we always do. Cherry Bullet. Does it say Fury Bullet or Cherry Bullet? I don't know. Either way, we're playing Piccolo this time. We're gonna do the Tournament of Power and we're gonna win. He's a leveled up to with the God of Destruction, Red Patara. Why in the world did Goku change to Super Saiyan? Cool. Got a perfect. Contestant I feel like Goku downgraded when he went to the yellow hair. Nice. Go right into my attack. I'm not just like transforming into orange because I'm trying to, you know, fight it out a little bit. It's still early in the tournament at this point. I want to fight it out a little bit in my base form. Oh, he got the upper hand on me in that little scuffle. And for that, I will transform. He pushed me to show my full power. Take this. Now I'm going to beat you down, Gohan, because you didn't dodge. You're getting sloppy, Gohan. You need to train more. Christopher Sabat's voice for Piccolo has changed so much throughout the years. He almost doesn't sound anything like he used to. And I'm not saying that that's a bad thing, it's just Piccolo sounds so different these days. He's so... he's a lot less raspy. Orange! Yeah, Kid Buu, I, I knew I needed to take the fight seriously because it's Kid Buu. I had to not let my guard down at all and go on and hit him with my ultimate. And that defeated him. Contest Karudagar. I just finished unlocking him in Spark and Zero. I bought him from the store. Giant Orange. I have another trick up my sleeve. It's Giant Orange to fight the giant monster. I wanted to get on even playing ground with him. It was actually perfect, the fact that Piccolo can go giant and I fight a giant character. Pretty epic. Ouch. Ouch. 
he was pushing me back right there. I had had enough at this point. Get him open with a charged up key blast and then hit him with a super attack. And now I'm gonna go all out. This is where I finish him. I don't know why I tried to grab. You can't grab giant characters, even if you're giant. Not exactly a climactic finish to the fight, but I had to end it. Now we face Goku again. Let's see how you handle Ultra Instinct. Goku, what's going on with your body? Now for a good question. Can Orange Piccolo defeat Ultra Instinct Goku? Me personally, I think the answer is no. I think Ultra Instinct is still stronger than Orange Piccolo. But I do think Orange Piccolo is extremely powerful. It's something that I realized about Orange Piccolo, like, I think yesterday on a Twitter post, is that his arms, Orange Piccolo's arms don't have the lines anymore that he used to have. And I don't know why I never noticed that, but I just haven't. Go Giant to get the Giant advantage against him. And now I'm trying to hit him with my ultimate to finish him. Here it is. Ha! A great finish to the entire tournament. Get out of here, Goku. I'm the champion. Your fighting was exempt. Obtain Z points. Get Dragon Ball. All Dragon Balls. Character unlocked. Basha. Basha, can you hear me? Now to look at who we have unlocked. What's curious is Pilaf Machine. I never unlocked the Pilaf Machine. I never got the notification to unlock him, but here he is. He's unlocked. Maybe whenever it said Janemba unlocked, that's when I unlocked him. I have no idea. But somewhere down, somewhere down the line, I unlocked the Pilaf Machine playing one of the world tournaments. So that's how you unlock him. He's on one of the tournaments. I can't say which, and I'm sorry, because I don't know. The same thing happened with Topo. He just appeared. He was a locked character, and he just appeared. So anyway, who we have unlocked today is Pilaf Machine, King Cold. He's got his armor with cape and the DBS Broly outfits. We unlocked Pycon. He's got his normal clothes and no heavy clothing and Super Pycon. I guess Super Pycon is from Heroes or something. We also unlocked Janemba, apparently. I got the notification that it unlocked Janemba, but I swear I thought I already had him. He transforms into Super Janemba, which that's a starting character. You start out with him. We unlocked Videl. She comes with Great Saiyaman 2. She's got the tournament clothes, school uniform, fight shirt, and the Movie 12 outfit. And then Great Saiyaman 2 just has alternate colors. We also unlocked Bojack, full power. Like I said earlier, I forgot that he was even locked. He's just got alternate colors, nothing special. And we unlocked Fasha, one of the favorites among everyone because she's difficult to unlock. She comes with Grade 8 Fasha. Well, I think Grade 8 was actually already here. Either way, she just has alternate colors. That's how you unlock her. And that's everyone, I think. Every single character is now unlocked. Pilaf Machine, I forgot to show that he just has alternate colors. And the transformation, the fusion, it's a giant character. That's literally everyone. You can follow through my story playthrough and my world tournament playthroughs and my dragon summoning videos to see how every character is unlocked in Tenkaichi 4. Everyone is unlocked now. <laughs> Using the Dragon Balls, I'm going to unlock the rest of the stages and some Z items. That'll be the next video. I'm just going to show every dragon summoning to get all the rest of the wishes. That will be everything unlocked the manual way. Whenever Team BT4 releases the next update, you're going to see it here. So be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you become a member of the channel, then you can have personal one-on-one -on -one help with me for technical support using the Discord server. I'll leave a link in the description to my video on how to install the game. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next adventure. Bye-bye.